Yo, yo, we are back in our Fairfax. And in today's video, I'll be sharing a sauce on how to create this light speed transition right here. So let me show you how to create this. So I have these two clips. I'll make a little gap in here. So we start our like effect around like here where he pulls his hands and end around like about like here maybe. So to start off, what we're going to do is duplicate this first clip. And also you got to make sure like your clip is long enough and fill this gap over here with the clip and holding alt in the first frame just stretch it just like squeeze it in so it goes like that and what you'll do is like fast forward it so basically like time stretch you know maybe a little more tighter so i don't like there and you can trim the axis of your like bottom clip and if you play that through you can see it's just a speed ramp in the beginning but we of course gonna make it look super dope by pre-comping it move all attributes make sure it's on move all attributes right there and add something like a r samb of course to add some motion blur in here it adds real dope motion blur in here maybe you can even set it to something like one so we get a little bit more motion blur in there and bring all the motion sensitivity as well turn on the gpu and yeah that looks super dope and then after that you can add something like a posterized time in here and i like to set it to something like 16 or 12 and that right there adds the energy effect like it adds so much to the effect so if you turn off the posterized time it doesn't look that crazy but if you turn on the like the poster at time it will look super super dope right there now maybe nah i'm gonna lower down the blur amount to 0.5 because i think that's a little too much yep that's perfect for me before going more into the video i just want to let you guys know about the best preset pack out right now which is called essential fx and transition bundle it includes the v1 and the v2 together and if you don't already know i dropped these packs few months ago and it has been absolutely blowing in the underground like every single other underground music video it uses it it can be used on other project as well if you are like anime editor or like even like car edits and stuff so it is absolutely packed with sauce it comes with 80 plus presets and i'm being for real when i say this i went 80 out of 80 so every single preset hits hard so yeah if you want to download it i'll link in the description as i said best pack out right now so make sure you don't miss out on it but let's just get back into the tutorial and then in here here you can add something like a s curves so make a s curve right here by adding curves and now we're gonna go inside this layer just like pre-comp and drag on the light overlay that i told you about so i'll link this really dope light overlay in the description you can just grab it for free and i'ma just like drag it on my timeline and start it where it starts so i'm like here and if it doesn't fit your like whole comp just like stretch it as i said just use the alt and stretch it right there as you can see and if you want to make it smoother just like turn on this like what is called maybe it's called like frame blending or some shit right there what we'll do is blend the frame and make it a little smoother for y'all then of course we're gonna change the blending mode to linear dodge and right here is too bright so to fix that just add a curve and make a really tight graph like this in the curve yeah maybe something like there looks super hard but don't worry in here it will of course look a little choppy because we are not at the main comp right now but now if we head into our actual main comp you can see with those light overlay it looks already crazy like super crazy but one more thing you can add into the pre-comp is something like a warp and set it to something like face eye and hit the stop button in the bend and make it zero and as it goes just lower it down so it like bends you know what i'm saying and you can of course put it before your posterized time so the posterized time also like affects the bending but yeah our effect is looking super dope already now to finish it all off i'ma add some like wiggle sensor so for that i'll be using my essential effects bundle if you don't already know i have a essential effects bundle which comes with 80 plus presets that you can use into your music video so if you want to check out that i'll link it in the description but for now i'll add a adjustment layer right here maybe around this and to transition into our another clip i'm gonna go head over to fx and presets user presets and open up v2 and v1 and you can try like different type of wheels in here but for me i'll be using the horizontal wiggle transition and just align this keyframe right here and then if you play that through 
you can see we have this top wheel in here but maybe this wheel doesn't hit that hard maybe i'm gonna use something like a a sim best wheel from the v1 yeah i guess this just looks way better right here so yeah that's why i think essential fx is super good at, like you can add fx like these in one click literally but now to transition it from the first clip to the light overlay what we're gonna do is add a, another adjustment layer and use something like a something like a horse for the feature right here from essential fx and transitions free 2 and now if you play that through you can see it looks super smooth so something right there and yeah i guess with that easy horse part our effect is done you can go ahead and add more sauce into it but i'm just giving you the baseline so you can add up and create some crazy results from it but yeah that's it for today's video guys if you like this video please consider the like button and you can also subscribe to my channel because i keep dropping sauce like these on my channel a lot so if you want to lock in just subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram do all that good stuff and i'm gonna see you on the next one